Can you not drive, no, because it's too late, Mum. Why is it too late? Because if Aaron was here at like seven on the dot, I would have. But because he's late, I can't. So, Key has a very special interest and it involves running a school. Um, his school is called Sterndale Road School and it uh, functions as a real school would function. So he has 158 staff members across three or four phases in his school. I'm just putting them in for the working day. Um, it's the students' last day before they break up for the summer. Have you finished reading it? Yeah. Key stage four, which is me. If he can't interact each morning and do what he needs to do as part of his um, school duties, then um, anxiety takes over for Key. And what that looks like in the home is becoming um, quite low at times, um, being verbally aggressive, um, not being able to sit, being quite, becoming quite agitated. And that's quite difficult to manage on a morning, especially if it's a school morning as well. Um, puts on this persona of, of being a very different person and, and his troubles are, are hidden. But we know that he, he masks quite a lot um, of his anxieties and agitation. Um, if we didn't limit that time, then his anxiety would increase and his time spent on his special interest would probably be the rest of his evening at home with us. Um, and actually, it, it then sort of, you have to ask yourself, is this a, a special interest or is it becoming more and more of an obsession? We noticed from very, very early on that Key was quite different. Um, he would have um, lots of, he'd be displaying lots of sensory behaviours, so he would be on all fours and he would um, seek stimulation through his head, so he would headbutt the wall. He would crawl into the kitchen and open a cupboard door and fixate on the hinges um, and he'd spend a lot of time opening and closing doors. He used to like to place a toddler's book on its spine and flick the pages down um, over and over again. And he would get quite distressed a lot, so he'd be very, very um, upset child, so he'd be very... Um, sad a lot of the time. If we start from Sutton, there'll be a few spaces. No, I know that well, actually. Because I'll be able to leap all. Why are you filming now? Aaron, I'm red light. So my, so my payday on the 28th of July, when you're only working Monday and Tuesday. Answer that one. You can answer that one, Tracey. <laughs> I've got to do that separate. Okay. So we've just left Roll Green. When we when we come to New Street, Key will just come along to platform of his choice. He'll study the board first, and I, I, I can never really work out how he makes his decisions as to what trains he wants to come and watch. But he likes to watch them entering and exiting the, each platform until they go out of sight. We come to Cat Cafe um, every Tuesday um, and Key's been coming now for I think ooh, about 18 months, Key and I actually, um, and it's it's a really good time in our week. Um, it allows Key to um, do things that he wouldn't do at home, it 
um, allows him to socialise with other young people who have autism. What makes you, you? Different to everybody Just else. how I am, Jobs. And really. what does that mean, how I am? Taking public transit nowhere and going blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what else? I just went blah, blah, blah. That's one part of you. What about all the other bits of you? Not sure about the others. How about your personality? Because that's a like. That's something you're interested in. What about you as a person? Not sure. Still, I, I still really don't. You know, Key doesn't come to Cat Cafe to talk or to learn about his autism. He comes to Cat Cafe to enjoy listening to music, being around other people, young people and adults. I don't think we see autism in Key at all. We see it through his behaviours and through his, his moods and his happy times. I benefit from coming along to Cat Cafe as well. Um, it gives me time with my colleagues. Um, it, it allows me to sit for 15 minutes, half an hour and just socialise, have a coffee, talk about my week, talk about my day, talk about Key, um, with people who, who get it and understand him. Um, I think that's key really. Um, when you're living with autism, being able to confide and speak with, quite honestly, um, other people who understand your situation. Two minutes to the bell. Do you like uh, so what was that, Kate? That was the bell for end of break. However, it's um, a different schedule today because it's the end of term, so they're still in the assembly. I was just leaving the bells to go on normal because I'm not um, messing them. Okay. Thanks, dude. The only time I do that is Good Friday. Mm -hmm.